Hey guys, before we officially start today's video, I just wanted to point out a new thing Bloxburg added, which is choose plot location. Um, you can choose any plot, you can see all the plots, and you can see the plots that other people have chosen as well if you want to spawn near your friend. Um, I don't know if you need premium to do this or not. I have premium, so I wouldn't know if you absolutely need it. Y'all are going to have to let me know, but they now have this, and I think it just makes life so much easier in Bloxburg, and I think it was such a great thing that they added, and I'm excited to see exactly what they added in today's update, but without further ado guys let's officially start today's video hey guys it's true mob games and welcome back to the video i hope you guys are having the most poptacular day ever and in today's non blocksburg wednesday video i know guys i practically never post on Wednesday at this point, but in today's video, we're going over the new Bloxburg April Fools update that they just came out with today. I know I'm a little bit late, guys. Um, I did see the update this morning, but I wasn't able to film, so I'm putting out the video right now. Plus, you know, with editing and filming, it, it takes a while. Um, but today, we're gonna be going over the new stuff. Oh wait, before we start, let me quickly open up the audit log, y'all. I clearly almost just forgot. Let's see exactly what they put. Okay, now that we have the audit log, let's see what they added. Uh, version 0.10.5, they added new shells and various clutter items. So that's like all the new furniture slash items that they added. Um, they changed plot selection interface, which y'all saw in the beginning of the video. They increased resale value for recently placed objects. So like when you sell objects, you get more money now. We're, we're definitely gonna have to test that. Um, major backend changes. Uh, minor interface and animation improvements which was probably the glitch they had with the 3d clothing if y'all didn't see and the minor bug improvement y'all real quick i want to test the increased resale value that they now added to blocksburg let's see so we're going to sell this chair it's 30 dollars. typically i get probably about 15 dollars selling it let's see how much we get now $28, that's actually not bad. Maybe we should, guys, maybe we don't need to use the undo button anymore. If you still want the full price, you can use undo, but not bad. Anyways, guys, let's hop into the update. In the new section in the front here is all the new stuff in the back, towards the back area. That's stuff from the other update. I can see a lot of storage stuff. This is actually looking pretty good. We got some shelving over here. I'm excited, honestly, to dive into this update. They added a lot of pretty good new stuff that I feel like I'm probably gonna be adding to my house, um, starting with this plain open book. I actually really like this. If you're doing a school or like a room and you have like a desk this is very good we have a wedge floating shelf um i need a wall okay now we have one um the wedge floating shelf you can put on walls so you have now a shelf for like the corner if you have a corner in your room you want to put a shelf they now have a shelf for that which is actually very nice because i like to put shelves and plants and different things in the corner of the room to fill the empty space so this is very nice and speaking of corner, they have a modern corner shelf, which is so funny because the other day in my new house, which y'all are gonna be seeing a tour for soon, um, I was trying to fit the shelf into the corner and it just wouldn't fit, it was going through the wall. And now I have a corner shelf that I can put there and it's gonna look so good. Um, let's see what else they added. They have an open book as well. So they have the open plain book and then they have the open book. And this one has writing in it, not my favorite because it kind of looks a little dirt, dirty and old. But if you're building like, again, like I said, a school or anything like that, this would be perfect for you. We have a wire mesh memo board. This is very nice. I actually really like this. I could see this being added to rooms and different offices along with this cork notice board. I can see these items being included in like offices, schools, rooms, and I see a lot of creative advanced placement hacks coming out of this. Stay tuned y'all. Maybe I'll even make an advanced placement one because I have a couple ideas myself. We have a round floating shelf. Again, a shelf for a corner area. This one, it looks nice nice as well and I'm excited to hopefully incorporate these in some of my builds. Um, this is the irregular stair shelf. So this is a stair shelf. I like this one too. Bloxburg did a very good job. I like this one too. I can also see this one also going in different bedroom builds and everything so far is looking nice. Honestly, for Bloxburg not updating at all in March and we missed our pr practically um, our month update, they added some pretty good furniture items. We got the zigzag corner shelf. Like, I mean, come on guys. This is not bad. This is actually pretty good. 
we have another corner shell. Bloxburg is really getting on the corner shells right now. This is literally what I was looking for when I was trying to place the shelf in the corner and it wouldn't fit. This is literally the update I've been waiting for my entire life. Um, what else do we have? Let's see, we have the stair shelf. We have two different types of stair shelves. This is the left stair shelf and we have a right stair shelf as well, which these ones are also pretty cool too. Bloxburg, again, did not do bad for update items. I think they honestly, this is one of the best updates I've had. I think they added a lot of cool new stuff and we just, we haven't even got through all of them yet. So I'm very excited to see what else they've added. So we have here a hex pattern shelf. I like this one too. Bloxburg just really hit it out of the park with this update. I'm loving all the items and I'm literally going to be using all of these items items in my build. They have the hex shelf, which you can even connect these to, and I bet you, you can probably use um, resizing on these. And they have this one too. So they have literally a whole hexagon shelf set now in Bloxburg. Um, they also have this wire mesh basket. Again, more storage. This is more of a storage update. They have square simple organizers and they have them in different shapes. So this is the tall desk organizer. This is the simple desk organizer, the square simple desk organizer. And lastly, but not least, the wide simple desk organizer. Look at all that. These ones are probably my least favorite items but I think it's cool and creative that Bloxburg decided to add these they have um, vertical desk organizer they have even a horizontal desk organizer y'all Bloxburg went all out this like I said I feel like this is more of a room like um, school slash office um, update look they even have rulers this is literally hinting at school right here which we're even gonna talk about later in today's video, but this is perfect if you're making an office. This is literally the update for you. We have, what was that? Um, a file, we have a calculator, guys. Like, I mean, are you kidding? Scissors too? These are like all new, brand new ideas Bloxburg has just introduced to the game. They even have a sleek hourglass. Like, I mean, that's a little bit random comparing to like everything else, even like the bucket too. But I mean, it's pretty cool, guys. We got tissues, um, another tissue box. I mean, considering that we've never even seen these items in Bloxburg and we weren't even expecting this, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, we got stapler, um, tape, and I think that's gonna be all that they added, like as furniture-wise, furniture-wise. And you know, guys, imagine this is like an April Fool's prank and they like delete these items after a day. Um, but guys, this is a little like rundown of all the items they added. I don't think you can grab any of these. I think they're all for display but it's pretty cool we have a lot of cool little office items knickknacks that you can place on your desk you can pick up the book though I apparently you can pick up both books um which has always been a thing in Bloxburg that's not anything new um and yeah guys we have all these shelves in the back here all of these corner shelves which I love so much I'm literally going to add to my build probably right after this video um which speaking of build guys stay tuned for my event I have more information coming out um later this week and I'll be linking the event videos I'm made so far about my event down below but you guys don't want to miss it we just recently hit 500 subscribers um and i just wanted to re-mention that in case you guys haven't heard about that yet and the last thing guys we're going to be checking out in this update video is the new school that blocksburg added guys blocksburg added a brand new school we're going to be checking it out i'm so excited guys i haven't really seen much of it yet but i'm so excited to see it with you guys Okay guys, we are approaching the school right here. It's where the, what was it, town hall is. It's right where the town hall is. If you guys haven't seen it already, guys, we're approaching. Look, they added a new school. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, this was for April Fools. It's kind of a uh, running joke that Bloxburg has where people want Bloxburg to have a school, but they don't have a school in Bloxburg and they use the city hall as a school like when our, they do RPs and stuff. So Bloxburg did a little April Fools thing where they replaced that uh, Bloxburg City Hall with Bloxburg School. They put a little, little post-it and they even decorated the inside as a school. Um, you guys, they even put a little classroom in here with like a small little desk, which is so funny. 
literally RP people are probably going to use this to their advantage though, even though um, it's just an April Fool's thing. Um, and you guys can even get an April Fool's Day trophy. You have to turn into a kid though, which is why I can't do it right now. I'm probably going to do it in a second though, but you can turn into a kid and I'll basically show you how it works. You answer some questions. If you get those questions right, you get to get a trophy. So I'll probably show y'all right now. Just so y'all can see um, quickly before I show you guys how to like do it. Um, which one called? Where is it? Um, sorry. Uh, we have right here the Bloxburg School Trophy. You get this trophy after completing the questions, which y'all, if I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it took me an hour to do the questions and I literally had to look up how to do it because the questions are so hard um, to do. But I'm gonna quickly change into a kid so I can show y'all basically how this little thing works. So guys, all you have to do is take any storage item, press customize character and change yourself to a kid. You need to be a kid in order to do this. And then you need to run all the way back to City Hall because for whatever reason you don't have a vehicle yeah that's probably just only me which i just realized now you probably could just change your character at the style salon that's near the city hall but of course i took the hard way so Hi, fellow NPCs. Anyways, after you have finally reached Town Hall, you can sit in the seat. It lets you sit there and they have a Bloxburg school test. And in this test, there's like a bunch of different questions. And unfortunately, I don't remember any of the answers. I'll leave as many answers as I have to the questions down below. But there are many different tests with different answers. So I don't have all of them. I only got a certain test and it took me legitimately. I'm not even going to lie. An hour to do this. Like I was literally, I was in my Bloxburg neighborhood, which I'm in my Bloxburg, Bloxburg neighborhood right now. Y'all should join up. The code is Shimbi Up if you guys want to join. I'm always on there literally all the time, like filming, doing different things, hanging out with you guys. This is so much fun. And my event will be in here too. But it literally took me an hour. I was asking the people in my Bloxburg neighborhood to help me and I finally got it. And it, it literally took so long after that. I literally like quit, like not never doing that again. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on those post notifications. Um, we recently just hit, like I said, 500 subscribers. We're going to be doing an event. So stay tuned for that. Make you guys go check out the merch. I haven't said it in a while. We still do have merch, though. I haven't promoted it in a while, though. But you guys should definitely check it out. It's on my group, the Trimby Opium fan, which speaking of groups, I just made a new group recently called Elves United. Be linking that down below in the description as well. And join my original group, the Trimby Hoffman fam. I think that's all, guys. I hope you guys have the most popular day ever. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.